Welcome to the channel. So today we are going to look at location-based lighting automations. These are automations where an action will occur to a light based on a location of you or a family member. Although we'll focus on myself, but the principle equally applies to anyone that you have linked for location tracking in Home Assistant. Now there are numerous ways of location tracking, but all require a device that is connected to the internet relaying its position back to Home Assistant mm. so that it can make a decision as to the lighting via an automation. These location tracking mechanisms are usually done through, but not exclusively, a third party application such as Live360 or the Home Assistant Companion app. The person to be tracked for automation purposes will need to have the app loaded and would need to share their location with you and or Home Assistant. So they opt in and not opt out of tracking and must be approved by the person that is sharing their location. Now, before everybody jumps into the comments, telling me that these are not accurate, we don't need the location to be super accurate. We'll be automating simply based on entry or exit to a zone. But as with all advice provided on whatever platform, it's about learning the technique, trying it for yourself and adapting accordingly. So for me, this system works and I suggest you give it a go. So let's dive on in. Now, if you've been following along with the lighting automation series, we're going to be utilizing some of the learnings from the earlier videos, namely the sun integration and the choose command. So the scenario we're going to solve is we want to turn off the lights after sunset when I arrive home, which is defined as 250 meters away from my home. We want to turn off all the lights except for the dining room lights when I leave home, again defined at 250 meters away from my home and the sun is below the horizon. And yes, this is an example only, as I have present simulation running. So when I leave home, present simulation simulates that I am home through the lights. Check the video in the pop-up above. Now this is a simple automation, but we'll be using many different integrations and automation techniques to achieve it. So we'll aim to teach you the techniques so that you can modify them accordingly. So at the time of recording, I'm running on Home Assistant Core 2023.11.1. To achieve this Home Assistant magic, we'll need to define the location of our home. So this is done through the using the zones. Zones are defined inside the Home Assistant setting. This can be found by navigating to settings, areas and zones, and from the top menu, zones. However, you will notice that next to the home zone, the edit button is crossed out. This is because it cannot be edited here as it is part of the installation configuration. To be able to change the home zone, it needs to be updated within the configuration.yaml file. So to be able to view and edit the configuration.yaml file, you'll need a file editor. I'd recommend Studio Code Server. If you don't have this loaded, then follow through in the video in the pop-up above or in the description below and come back to this video. Now let's open up Studio Code Server. Select configuration.yaml in the file list to the left hand side. Either search for or scan down and search for the word name colon. You'll see a latitude and longitude values. Copy these values into Google Maps with the latitude first, followed by a comma and the longitude second and press enter. This will show you the location that is stored for your home. If your location is incorrect, you will need to change this. Then you can use a website called latlong.net. Link in the description below. You can type in your address and it will tell you a latitude and longitude. You can type these into your configuration.yaml file and save the changes and reboot. And your home location will have been updated. Now the home zone has a default radius of 100 meters and cannot be changed in the UI. However, if you check the Home Assistant Zone webpage, see the links in the description below, you can override the home zone radius via the configuration.yaml file with a new home zone. Go back into Studio Code Server. You should have the configuration.yaml already open. Insert the following code into an appropriate location. The code will be in the text below. Change the latitude and longitude to match your actual home location and that you have previously found out using latlong.net. Set the radius and you are done. And for those keen eyed amongst you, these are not my real home address locations. Enter in the comments below where you think these actually are. Remember, 
that we are specifically looking for a radius of 250 meters in our user case. But that is not to say that you couldn't create multiple zones around your home for different scenarios. Reboot your home assistant for your new home location to take effect. Now, if you've been watching along with the lighting automation series, part three, we covered the sun and workday integrations. You'll know that the sun integration comes as part of the default installation. And if you are sure it's working, then feel fine to skip this part of the video. However, however, if you are unsure, go back into Studio Code Server. Inside of your configuration.yaml file, search for and find sun colon. If you find this, then you're good to carry on. If not, then enter sun colon with no preceding spaces under the default configuration section and then reboot Home Assistant. For the location tracking, we'll be using Home Assistant Companion App. This is the simplest and some would say the most reliable. We won't cover the installation of the companion app in this video, but follow along in the descriptions below for instructions on how to do this. Once installed, this exposes several new entities to Home Assistant. Just make sure that the app is open and then you have enabled background refresh to allow it to communicate with Home Assistant. This way, it does not need to be the front facing app, but will still communicate through the background. The entities that we'll be taking advantage of are the device tracker, links in the description below to the web page. Now we have all the prerequisites in place, let's start automating. Navigate to settings, automations, create an automation. Our main trigger will be based on me moving into or out of the home zone that we previously defined. Add a trigger, scroll down, select a zone. In the entity location, select the device tracker for the person that you wish to track. If you have any confusion about which device tracker you should be using, then you can open a new tab for Home Assistant. Go into Settings, Devices and Services, Entities. Search for Device underscore Tracker. Now look for entities with the integration of mobile app. Click on the entity, press the three cogs, and you'll see the entity ID that you need. In the zone, search for your home. This will be the overridden home location if you have redefined it inside of your configuration.yaml and rebooted. In the event, select Enter. Now in the three dots in the top right hand corner, select Edit ID. Enter a trigger ID of arriving home. Now we'll add the trigger for leaving home. Add trigger ID, zone. Select the person that you wish to track. Enter your home zone. In the event, press leaving. Press the three dots in the top right hand corner. Edit ID, enter a trigger ID. Since there are no conditions that are globally across the scenario, we can skip the conditions. Now we can move to the actions. Press add action, select choose. Expand the drop down for option one. Add a condition, scroll down, select triggered by. Select arriving home. Add a condition. Select Sun. Select After Sunset. Scroll down. Make sure you add an action specifically to option one. Call a service. Search for and select Light colon space turn on. Next, as per the scenario, we want to turn on the lounge lights. Select the entity ID. Search for lounge lights. As the scenario wasn't specific to the brightness and temperature, I'll leave this but you might like to set your specific values. For our second scenario, we'll turn off all the lights except the dining room lights if I leave home and are more than 250 meters away from the house and the sun is below the horizon. Scroll down, add option, add a condition, select triggered by, select the leaving home trigger. Let's check to see if the sun is below the horizon before actioning, add a condition, select state, for entity ID, type sun. In the state field, use the drop down. Select below the horizon. Let's add the actions for these conditions. Select add actions specifically for option two. Call service. Now there are a few ways of turning off all the lights except one light. First, we can create a group for all the lights and exclude the one that we do not wish to turn off. Second, we could turn off all the lights and then turn back on the one light that we want to exclude. Noting that in Home Assistant, there is no exclude option for actions to all of a domain, such as lights. For the purposes of the example, I'm gonna pick the second option. To do this, we'll need to search for and select light colon turn off. Press the three dots in the top right hand corner of the call service. Select edit in YAML. Copy and paste the following code below the data colon. 
The code will be in the description below. Next, we'll need to turn back on the dining room lights. Add action, call service, search for and select light colon turn on and select. Select your dining room lights. Again, since the scenario doesn't call for a specific brightness or temperature, I'll leave that alone. You might like to set these accordingly to your specific cases. Now let's save the automation. Now this is a location-based automation and as such is difficult to test. However, we can disable the lighting actions and run the automation for a few days. Once you've done this, you can use the trace feature. Yes, at the top right of the automation, the words trace as a button that you have wondered what it did but have never pressed the button. Details on the trace feature within Home Assistant is documented in the troubleshooting guide on their website. Links in the description below. This records the last five times the automation has run and what logic and actions were applied. This will help you confirm that the automation is working as intended before and enabling the actions to allow for refinement. Well, there you have it. Lighting automations based on your location. Although a short video, it demonstrates some important device tracking functions within Home Assistant. From the Home Assistant companion app, device trackers, the sun integration, default configurations, etc. The list goes on. But if you've made it this far, then you have learned a lot and can apply this to so many different scenarios. As a parting question, let me know in the comments on which you believe is the best device tracker. Life360, the companion app, or even iCloud. There are so many more. I look forward to hearing your opinions. Enjoy your automating until the next one.